Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. We're going to toggle two sections with a little button here. I've got a section called Section X. If I hit this little button, it says Show X Section Y. It's going to flip to a different section and hide the original called Section Y. Now we've done this before, but this time it's a little different. We've got the button text changing each time we do this. Show section X and show section Y. Now I've pre-written all the JavaScript and CSS for you. Really easy to do, so let's get started. I'm going to go to the editor page. Let's go down and I'll delete my little code module and button right there. Now I've got two sections here section X and section Y. Once you've created your two sections you'll need to give them a class name. So go into your section over to the advanced CSS classes not ID make sure you put this in CSS classes name one of your sections section X because usually there'll be no name there just put whatever name you want to give yours in there and I'll show you how to change this name in the code in a moment but for for simplicity I'm going to keep this one called section X and this one funnily enough if we go into that one over to advanced CSS class name again this one I called section Y okay well let's add the little button that's going to toggle and hide these I've written the code that so section Y is hidden by default and I'll go through that in a moment in the code. Let's add a new section somewhere we can add our little button. I'm not actually going to add a button I've done it all in the little code module here. So if we go back to our little matrix I need to add a little code module. This is available in both the pro and the free version of Elementor here. There's an HTML module. I'm going to drag it over and it gives us a field to add the code. Well here's the code that I've written and I'll go through it slightly, it's not too much you need to do. It's actually got a button of its own in there and the button is called my button, it's got a class name of my button. This is what the button's going to say when we put it in, show section Y and you can change that to what you want. Make sure you don't lop off those little pointy brackets either end, you want to put it inside there, that's what your button's going to say initially. We've got the button aligned in the middle with display effects justify content center if you want it on the left and the right you can simply delete that it'll be displayed on the left or give it your own setting to display on the right now my button I've given it some stars I've got a background of black obviously change that to whatever you want to change yours to I've got a font color of white again change that to what you want to there's the size of the actual font itself bigger or smaller. I've given the corners a bit of a border radius. I've got no actual border on there. I've given it a bit of a margin on the bottom so that our sections are well below it. Now I've given it a different hover background of a slightly lighter or a dark grey rather than a black. Obviously you can change that to what you want to. So that's styling your button. I guess I better put it in there so you can actually see what's going on. So I'm going to copy all of my code and I'll put a link to where you can get the code down below the video obviously and I'm going to simply paste it into my HTML module there there's our little button that's what I was saying about the styling of that button let's just roll this page let's just roll this page up a little bit and you can change all your colors for that button and styles right there the only other things that you might need to know if we roll down here this is where it's telling it to hide one section and show the other one with my button there. If we roll down a little bit more, we've also told it to show, say call the button show section Y if section X is showing and show section X if section Y is showing. So you can change these to whatever you want to call your sections right here. That's what I mentioned at the top show section Y that's what I've decided to start off with because that's the one that's going to be hidden initially 
we've got a background color for the button when we click on it I'm keeping it as black there I'm actually change that dark gray to a similar one as I've got here for mine in my hover styles which is 3434 so you can copy that put in whatever color you want make sure you don't lop off those inverted commas there that's the only thing and obviously if you want to change the button regular background color I've got black at the moment which is hex 000 and you can put in web colors RGBAs whatever you want to there make it the color that you need everything else is pretty straightforward this is just the functions they're going to toggle those two sections for us great so I better recopy that now I've edited it. Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I'll change it up here by Control A to select all, delete it all, and repaste my new code in there and update. Now you notice on the back end, we can see both of these sections. If we now go to our front end, hit the little eyeball to preview changes and we roll down there's our little button but if we roll down there's no section Y there it goes straight to the section below when I click on the show section there's section Y section X has disappeared click on it again section Y is back and as you can see the buttons changing the text up there but like I say you can put in exactly what you want and every time we click on it it's going to toggle between those two sections and that's a really handy little feature to have on your site like I say we've covered that before we're just toggling and the button stays the same but this time we're actually changing the text on the button for a bit of UX and interactivity and don't forget I'll put a link down below where you can get all of this code all you have to do is pop it into an HTML module style your button the way you want it have it say what you want it to say and you're good to go so there you go guys there's how to switch between sections on button click and have the button change text when you do so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel don't forget if you've got any questions pop them below the video I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demonstration video once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.